Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So just a quick little video for you today. If you own the original Hover Air X1, it is now fully compatible with the Beacon that was launched alongside the Hover Air X1 Pro and Pro Max. It does have some limited functionality, which I'll get into here in a minute. You can purchase the Beacon independently, so if you own the drone and you just want the Beacon, I do believe you can get it on Amazon and directly from the Hover Air website. They just released the firmware update, making it compatible a couple days ago. Now you may not see the firmware update right away. Hover, when they release firmware, do it in different stages, in different regions. It's been out for a couple days, but I just got mine this morning. So if it's not there yet, just check back in a day and it should be there. To connect the beacon to the hover, all you're going to do is press and hold the power button on the side there. Once it's powered on, it's going to go into a searching mode, searching for a drone to connect to. So you want to power on your hover drone and it should detect it and connect right away. You will have to confirm on the screen that that's the drone you want to connect to. Once you've done that once, you don't have to do that every time. The next time you power on the beacon and the hover drone, they will just automatically connect. Now there is some limitations compared to when using this with a Pro or Pro Max. It doesn't support hover link, which is going to give you extra tracking capabilities beyond the visual tracking. You're limited to height and range. With the Pro and Pro Max, you have about a kilometer, a little over a kilometer of range. But with the Hover Air X1, you're limited to about 50 meters of range. And you're also limited when it comes to height to 10 meters. As well with the Hover Air, it does not support return to home. You can go in and you can change the filming mode. They did state that with a future firmware update, probably the next firmware update, they're gonna add the ability where you can use the beacon as a microphone. So if you want to embed audio into the video, it also fully supports the joystick. So when you purchase the beacon, you have the option of purchasing one joystick or both, which I'll show you here in a second. You just attach it. That essentially turns the beacon into a motion controller. You can use this joystick to do different maneuvers, or you can add the second joystick And now that's going to basically turn it into a traditional controller. Again, you're still going to have limited range, but with the sticks, it'll be a little bit easier when flying it in manual mode to get more cinematic shots. When flying it with either one joystick or both joysticks, you do get a little preview there in the window. Now with the Pro and Pro Max, you can actually mount your smartphone in there as well. That's going to give you a larger preview of what you're filming. With the current firmware for the X1, that's not supported yet, but it did make a note that that will be coming with the next firmware update. So if you own the X1, it's a great little update because this beacon is actually quite handy. I use it all the time. I don't use it so much with the joysticks for flying it, but it does make it really handy. It gives you a preview. They have different attachments that you can get to mount this on a handlebar of a bike. You can wear it on your wrist. Essentially, it'll give you just a GoPro mount that you can mount it in various ways. And it's just nice to get that visual preview, especially when you have this following you on something like a bike or you're doing some hiking. You can always take a quick glance at the screen. And that way you know the drone is always following you and everything is framed nicely. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it had value. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one.